Shalom. Kahana ingai haba shmiao shai. Bashem rakakwadash. Double nas to the elves and the apostles, the great most known who are well. Shalom to the 144,000, the one third remnant men, women, children of the home for the next Shalom. This is the brother Gabar Yash coming back at you with another quick lesson. Through the spirit of the party, how about some y'all shine our place? Let's be able to find it straight to the point. And man, we coming into some real, real tough times, man. Okay, let's read this article from Prophecy. It's not, it's not okay. The People's Voice TV, and it says UN troops will be deployed across U.S. as Pentagon prepares for civil unrest. <laughs> So they about to bring in them UN troops, man. All right. And plus, we're getting close to an election year. So, you know, let's see if we have an election or not. We don't know yet. But we're going we gonna to watch, continue to watch and see, man, you know. All right. But nevertheless, man. So, hey, these devils are preparing for civil unrest. And they know either way it goes. And they like, say if they do have an election in November. If Donald Trump wins... All hell is going to break loose. If Biden wins again, all hell is going to break loose. So it's a lose-lose situation on both sides, man. On both ends, man. Okay? So, hey. <laughs> yeah, these hey, they're preparing, man. So let's all further do. Let's read this article. It says the Biden regime has agreed to allow thousands of U.N. troops to be deployed across the U.S. in anticipation of mass civil unrest and in America, Babylon, man, okay, and plus that movie that came out last month, Civil War, okay, so hey, it's going to be a Civil War part two, man, okay. According to a report by Greg Reese's, the UN is directing the migrant crisis in America with contingent with contingents of its own forces embedded in the military age migrant caravans to activate civil unrest at a late date. Okay? And hey, wrong UN troops are already here, man. Okay, those migrants, man, those able bodied military men, okay? Military like men. Alright, coming in from down in uh Central and South America, okay? Coming in from all types of places, man. Okay, they are already here, but they ain't been activated yet, man. But they're going to soon be activated. Okay? Let's continue. <coughs> Excuse me. The southern border of the United States is wide open. And the federal government has been conducting a wide-scale criminal operation of flooding. Excuse me. And flooding the country with unvetted foreigners. This distributing them across distributing in them across the United States and providing them with homes and financial support the GOP's talking points has been that this is all about election fraud but this has been happening all across the western world for over a decade for this so for this is something far more sinister than election fraud it says the population division of the United Nations concerns themselves with international migration. In the year 2000, they published Replacement Migration, a solution put forth to deal with declining and aging population. For years, we were told that this was a C theory. Now, but now that we are seeing tens of millions of Tens of million murderers by the experimental shots. Okay. It is becoming more clear what the objective is. We are told that these are poor families fleeing from tyranny. tyranny but there are massive amounts of healthy young men without any families. And time and time again we have seen them act violently against the native population with very little repercussions from the law as we are expecting the announcement of disease x and another lockdown a recent report from the uk's jim ferguson provides a 
plausible explanation of what we are seeing. Okay? And this is orchestrated chaos, man. That's coming here to Babylon the Great. Okay? I'm not going to read that, man. But, you, you know, you see it. It says, this isn't normal. There's something not right. This isn't just refugees coming. These aren't people fleeing from some kind of war zone. These are predominantly men aged between 25 and 35. Young fighting age men. Exactly. So, hey, them UN troops are already here. But they just ain't been activated yet, man. When the chaos and the uh, civil unrest begins, that's when these guys going to be activated, man. Okay? As my old boss, Nigel Fur Farage, once referred to them, and I was, and I think he's right. John, what do you think going on? What do you think is going on here, mate? <laughs> he said, so I tell you, these are UN soldiers, and they will be deployed by the, you see it? Yeah, especially... With this next pandemic, okay? All right, they already saying that the bird flu could be the next pandemic, okay? And hey, and once that happens, what's Biden going to do? He going to turn all authority over to who? These guys, the WHO. When they announce the next pandemic lockdown, that's what's going on. It's not, that's what's going to happen, yeah. Second Hebrews chapter 15, verse 17. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. They've been trained by British soldiers, been trained by the Black Watch Raiment. Raiment. They were trained in an and yeah, in Turkey and in the east of Ukraine. They are predominantly down to sergeant ranks. There's, they're then shipped to France. Then all signs of like signed the official secret act. Then they're ferried over. If you're, if you were fleeing war and uh, tyranny, uh, tyranny, I don't know about you, but I would certainly take my wife and children with me. <laughs> so these people know what's going on, man. Okay, these people are waking up. Okay, I'm not going to read all of this. As you can see, man, hey, these people are waking up. They know what's going on. Okay. And hey, they already here, man. Let's get some scriptures. Because we're approaching that time, man. As a matter of fact, we'll stay in uh, Jeremiah 51. All right. Jeremiah 51 and verse 1. Thus said the Lord, how about Shion Shai? Behold, I will raise up against Babylon and against them that dwell in the midst of them that rise up against me. A destroying wind. That's that nuclear destruction. Verse 2. And I will send unto Babylon fanners. Okay. These are talking about immigrants, man. All right. Illegal migrants. All right. Which they're. Well, not illegal, but nevertheless, man, they're sending these people in. Hey, Babylon is for the taking now, man. Okay? They that shall fan her and shall empty her land, for in the day of trouble they shall be against her round about. See? So the infiltration is starting on the inside first before, the, hey, the missiles fly, man. Okay? And, hey, pretty soon the missiles are going to fly. Okay, but before all that happened, what's got to happen first? The MOTB, which is the C-HIP. That's right around the corner. Okay, <clears throat> we're very close to that. They already uh, conditioning the people. Look what's going on in, um, I think that's in France, I believe. Well, now they got, you got to use an R code to, you know, hey, to get in certain places, man. All these Look, all these prophecies are being fulfilled, man. Prophecies is jumping off the pages. Skip down. Let's you know, read Jeremiah chapter 51 and verse 7. Babylon had been a golden cup in the glory of Habashiyashai's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine. Therefore, the nations are mad. Okay? Verse 8. 
Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her? Take bond for a pain, and so she may be healed. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her, and let us go every one into his own country, for her judgment reaches unto heaven and is lifted up even to the skies. Okay? So Babylon, the great America, will not be healed. No matter who you stay in the White House, if Biden stay in the White House or if Trump gets in the White House, this place can't be healed. This place cannot be saved. This place is destined for destruction, okay? So let's go to Isaiah 19 and verse 2. And I will call, and I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians, and they shall fight every one against his brother, and every one against his neighbor, city against city, and kingdom against kingdom. Okay? Orchestrated chaos, man, is coming. Okay? They want the chaos so they can bring forth the order. Okay, look what they doing. Look what they did during the um so called campus protest, man. The whole pro Hamas uh protest, man. Orchestrated chaos so they can bring forth more laws and unrighteous decrees and unrighteous legislations, man. Okay, let's get that. <clears throat> Isaiah ten and one. Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees, and that right grievousness which they have prescribed. Okay? Unrighteous laws. Okay. And now let's go to Second Israel chapter 15, verse 14. Because this, hey, this prophecy is about to jump off the page, man. Okay. Second Israel 15, verse 14. Woe unto, woe to the world and them that dwell therein. Verse 15. For the sword and their destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up. And fight against another and swords in the hand. The modern day sword is the gun. Okay? There are more guns in America than there are souls, man. Human souls. And hey, them guns, them ammunition, and not just guns gonna be used, man. All kinds of weapons gonna be used, man. Anything that is a killing tool and a killing instrument is gonna be used during civil war, man. During the civil unrest, during the civil chaos, civil strife. Okay? Verse 16, for there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their ashes shall stand in their power. These people are going to literally take matters into their own hands, man. Okay? That's why they got these UN troops coming in, man. Pretending that they're so-called immigrants, all right? Immigrating from, you know, coming in, looking for a better life here in Babylon, man. But those guys... They sitting until they be hey until they get the call to get activated, man. Okay, so hey, <laughs> it's about to go down. Verse seventeen: A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. Martial law checkpoints. Okay. Verse eighteen: For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. Not just men, women as well. Okay. Verse 19, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy the houses with the sword and spoil the goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation, Jacob's trouble. And this is going to be a time of Jacob's trouble, man, a time like no other. Let's get that. Jeremiah 30 and 7. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he should be saved out of it. Only the elect is going to be saved and preserved out of these times, man. Okay? And let this going to go through this. You're going to have to go through Jacob's trouble. But you let this going to be saved out of it. Daniel 12 and 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up. The great prince was standing for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble such as never was. Since there was a nation even to that same time. And at that time thy people shall be delivered. Everyone that shall be found written in the book. Okay. So it's about to be a time like no other on earth man. Okay, so get ready. Okay, let's get another one. It says a troop. <clears throat> yep, right here. Job nineteen and twelve. His troops show his troops come together and raise their way against me. And they camp around about my tabernacles, man. So, hey, these UN troops, they're already here, man. It just ain't been activated yet. 
but they're going to be activated real soon. Okay? So, prepare. We in a time. We coming into some crazy times, man. Let's get this. First Thessalonians 5 and 2. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the glory, how about she all shine, so come if that's a thief in the night. Verse 3. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them and as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. So we're coming into some serious, serious times, man. Orchestrated chaos, man. So they can bring forth the order. Okay? That's why these UN troops are here. And they're already in here, man. Okay? Like I said, they haven't been activated yet. Okay? They just standing by, waiting until the, hey, these uh, able-bodied military light men, they just sitting by. Okay? That's why your uh, <laughs> government giving them uh, all kinds of benefits and all kinds of necessities, everything, man. Because they know, hey, once it, when the time comes, man, hey, they're going to be activated. Okay, so we're here, man. We are here. Let's see. I think I said, mm. Let's get one more. So, hey, we're not ignorant to Esau's devices, man. Okay, let's get this. I'll get one more after I read this and I'm going to close it down. 2 Corinthians 2 and 11. Let Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Okay, we're not ignorant of his devil's schemes and his plans. Because, hey, the true man of the Lord got the eye out of the sea. Like it tells you in uh, Amos 3 and 7, surely the Lord will do nothing, but he revealed his secrets unto the servant, the prophets, man. So all these plans that these devils got, and they think they're in secret, man. Hey, they're being revealed to the men of the Lord, man, the true men of the Lord. And, hey, what we do when we see this, what we do, we blow the trumpet. We warn you Israelites, man, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and the Americans of the dangers in the times to come. Because if we don't warn you, that's blood on our hands. Okay? Revelation 12 and 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he have but a short time. So the devils know that they got a short time to rule. So that's why they got to hurry up. And speed things up. And really it's through the, the glory of how about Shinyal Shai that these days are speeding up. Okay? Let's get that and I'm going to end it with that one. Matthew 24 and verse 21. For then shall be great tribulation such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, nor nor ever shall be. Verse 22. And they said, those days shall be shortened. There should no flesh be saved, but for the elect's sake those days shall be shortened. Okay, so these devils know what's coming. And really, them, hey, the men of the Lord also know what's coming. And that's why we're telling you Israelites, man, we're blowing the trumpet. We're warning you before it happens. So when, hey, these prophecies begin to take place, when these devils run out the MOTB to see hip, when all hell breaks loose, you can't say you wasn't warned by the men of the Lord, man. You can't say you wasn't. Because these 501c3 Israelites, all right, they ain't trying to warn you. They're telling you everything is going to be good. There is no Jacob's trouble and this and that. The true men of the Lord are blowing the trumpet every day. We're warning you. We know what's coming. Let's get this. Joel 2 and verse 1. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion. And that's what the men of the Lord are doing. And sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble for the day of the morning. How about she all shy coming? It is nigh at hand. It is near. Okay. This is why we're blowing the trumpet to warn you Israelites. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And you speckled bird Israelites that scatter amongst heathen that look like the heathen. So when these things begin to take place, you won't have no excuse why you didn't listen. Okay. So with that, I'm going to end it there. I pray it's less was edifying and straight to the point. All praises and glorifications go see how about Shem Yon Shai, Bashem, Rakak Wadash. It's all to the next one. Shawn Wom, Kwam Yon Stay prayed up, Israel. Israel, watch and pray. Okay? Yon man. Rise up, Israel. Okay? Rise up. Wake up. Okay? Wake up, 
Because, hey, we're at the end. As a matter of fact, I'm going to leave you all with this scripture. Let's get this one. And I'm going to close it out with this one. It's high time to awake out of sleep. For our salvation is close. Romans 13 and 11. And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. So it's time to wake up, Israel. Okay? Our salvation is close. So with that, all praise to God for case to go see how about some y'all shy about Shimra Kakwadash. It's on to the next one. Shawam, Kwam Yashra, and a Baba Ball. Shawam.